All right, guys, how's it going? Um, it's February 14th. It's happy Valentine's Day to everybody and their loved ones, your sons, daughters, everybody. Disregard what I'm saying right now. I'm kind of goofy right now. But anyways, I kind of wanted to um, talk about something other than sports. And I haven't done this before on my YouTube channel yet. I was going to take a break from it. I did a podcast earlier today. And I was kind of just going to be like, okay, let me just do the podcast and then, you know, put the YouTube aside for a couple days. But um, after sitting here thinking about it, I haven't been really doing much today, just cleaning and all that. But I know you probably don't really care, but it's all good. But anyway, I'm going to talk about um, the past 12 months in my life, personally. I know everybody that um, has gone through this COVID and lost a lot of loved ones. I know firsthand some people that have lost loved ones um, due to corona and I just wanted to kind of talk about my kind of life and experience and kind of the transitions that's going with me right now um, sports wise and family wise and everything else Um, so you know like I said it's February 14th happy Valentine's Day to everyone love you KJ I miss you just talked to you on on FaceTime a little bit ago Um, daddy will be home soon so You know, everything's all kind of up in the air right now. As you know, if you know me, I'm living with my sister right now in Madison, Wisconsin, way up north, negative 25 degrees up here, by the way. But let's start back in February, February 28th to be exact. February 28th, I got fired. I let go from the lighting job I was at. I don't want to discuss all the details there. Um, A lot of good guys. Loved everybody. I loved working there. Loved all the people. Loved all the people there. Just didn't get, like, um, run over by the uh, corporation and uh, by a certain individual, which we will rename uh, nameless. But all my buddies that um, I worked with there, a lot of people are gone. They kind of downsized and then got rid of people. They just I think they were just trying to find ways to get rid of everybody. I don't know, tax purposes, whatever, what have you. I don't understand why. Um, Just wasn't any work. And they got rid of everybody and downsized everybody. That's just what it was. And that was me. And one, even though I was one of the top guys there, I did a lot of um, work for them all over the uh, place, from New York to Kentucky to Indiana to a lot of work in Chicago, a lot of Columbus work that we did for the schools there. Um, really liked the job. Uh, made a lot of money doing it. And um, just, I I don't know what happened. Something lit up a fire up underneath me after all that happened. And February February 28th, going into March of last year, I decided labor work isn't going to be for me anymore. I I don't know. Everything's still up in the air right even as of right now. But back, taking you back to March, uh, late February, early March, going into April, I decided to get back into broadcasting, get back into radio, get back into what I love doing is talking. (laughs) I'm sure if you know me, you know, and especially if you worked with me, if you worked with me, you know I talk all the time, talk a lot, and I sing a lot too as well. And uh, people that I work with right now, they they hear me singing also, but uh, we'll get to that. But back in February and March, I got let go of the job. Um, worked with, lived with mom, um, and I just, uh, I kind of like gave up on labor work. I was really upset about the whole thing that happened with the the lighting company, but then like I had, I had to go back to where I went. 2006, I graduated from Ohio Center for Broadcasting. It's not even called that anymore. So I think it's called Ohio Media School or something like that. There's one in Cincinnati, Columbus, and Cleveland, and um Really good school. I really liked it. And um, just didn't utilize everything. Didn't know um, a lot of the knowledge back then, what to do back then. I just kind of went with the flow and got told what to do and just did what I was told and got out of it. And I don't want to get into all that detail. But that's basically what happened back in 2006, 2007. Um, Yeah, but anyway... Going back to what happened in March last year, getting let go, then kind of going back to my roots. That's what I was trying to talk to you about. Going back to my roots. Back in high school, I 
Um, a really good basketball player, 26 points a game, 16 rebounds a game. I don't know if I told you guys all that. I hold all the records there at that school, but it was a small Christian school. Um, but I'm telling you this because that's where it all started. And I always told myself if I couldn't play the game professionally and get paid by doing it, I wanted to announce the game or do play-by-play or sports analyst, something of that nature. And uh, I didn't go to a regular college. I, didn't, I, I did go to Sinclair a little bit for computer engineering classes and all that stuff. Didn't graduate. I don't have an associate's degree, but I do have a broadcasting certification, certification of broadcasting from a hostage for broadcasting. But um, saying that, I kind of lost focus over the years. Kind of in my 20s, party too hard. In my 20s, I wasn't career focused, career driven. I was... I was basically just out to have fun. And after my 30s, it did, I didn't even really start hitting a career base uh, mentality. Uh, probably just not even a couple years ago. And I'm 37 now, just turned 37 a couple days ago, February 11th. And thank you for again for all the birthday wishes. Love you guys. Um, but this is kind of more of a serious, I don't, I don't really get serious that much, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the past year for me. And we're kind of moving past March and April. And then I worked kind of remote work at True Green, did a customer service for that, worked a little bit in and out for temp agencies during that time. But I had some money in the savings and, live, and then living with mom. So I was able to do some stuff that, you know, I wanted to do. And I started my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is old, but I started doing the AJ Let's Talk Sports part of it back in like March and April. And then the AJ Let's Talk Sports podcast that I have as well on the Spotify Anchor app. Apple Podcast, Overcast, a couple other podcasts there. Um, but you can find it on Anchor app and then uh, Spotify. If you don't have Spotify, then Apple Podcast. I'm on that as well, AJ Let's Talk Sports. But um, going through to what happened back, you know, through April, May, June, I kind of hit it really hard and was doing, trying to do um, a, a one or two shows a week and podcasts as well. Then I um, met, I found, started utilizing LinkedIn a lot. So if anybody on LinkedIn is watching this right now, thank you very much. I had a lot of um, support from LinkedIn. I never had a job from LinkedIn. That's probably one of the, one of the uh, polls that I did about a month ago or so. It's one of the questions that I had. Does anybody ever get a job from LinkedIn? And it was like a 90-10 to no, 90% no. So I kind of gave up on utilizing LinkedIn for a job opportunity and just utilized it for a networking possibilities and then was on um, a different broadcast trying to get jobs on there. And I just and I happened to find out there's this guy that hired out in South Jersey. And if you if you already know what's going on, I'll just I'll get to it if you don't know. But um, Mike Salerno, I'll go ahead and throw the name out there. Um so they were hiring out WPOP Internet Radio in South Jersey, Franklinville to be exact, Franklinville, New Jersey, was real excited. This happened around August of last year. And I and I couldn't believe it. Me and my cousin and my family couldn't believe it. It was like some people were saying, hold off, don't go. Others were like, do it. See what you can do. You know, you got to go for it, which I understood. And that's what I did. So I just went ahead and dropped everything, had a little bit of money saved up, and I left and had a little room to rent and stayed at a small, small little place out in South Jersey, um, worked in that internet radio, which was really cool. I had some, if you saw my Instagram account, AJWH2308, check that out. That's my Instagram handle, and then you can check out some of the videos that I posted when I was working there. It's also, I think, on my Facebook page as well. You can, AJ Let's Talk Sports on my business uh, business page. You can check that out. And um, ask for me to send an invite. I'll send an invite to you. But, okay, so I started working there. I worked there for about three months. Did some interviews for the NBA prospecting for the TBL Developmental League. That was pretty cool. Still looking to have some kind of career advancement possibilities through them. Talk to the president there. Talk to some guys that know people in the business. So I'm still up in the air for that. So fast forwarding to the end of the year into this year. So just in the beginning of December, I was kind of let go 
mutual thing with the WPOP internet radio station. He didn't pay me for like a month. He owes me a little, quite a bit of money still in the process of that. And the department of labor in New Jersey is getting involved. Uh, found out that this guy, Mike Salerno is a convicted felon. Uh, so all of us are like now gone that I was working with. The cool part about it is the guy I used to, um, uh, smoking Joe is his name. He's out in Mad He's out in Wisconsin right now too. Trying to, I'm trying to get a job with him too, but I, I understand it's, he's building out here. So everything's all up in the air and, um, it's been it's been a uh, whirlwind of a year, I'll tell you that much. And I know everybody else has been going through a lot of stuff too. Just like the painting behind me, it's just a been almost like a shipwreck out here. Um, so what happened was, I um, I lost a job. He didn't pay me. I had to take the hundred twenty five dollars from the direct deposit at the place that I was living at. That's the only way I was able to get anywhere because I had zero money. Then I moved, went to grandma's for a little bit, helped her, helped grandma and grandpa out in West Virginia. My sister told me that I could come out here if, if I was, if I wanted to. I kind of really didn't really want to up in Wisconsin, but I said, hey, you know what? Let's do it. So now I'm here in Madison, Wisconsin, I live with my sister, and she's on vacation down in Florida. I love you, Megan. Hope you guys made it. Little Darcy, I miss him. So I'm all by myself up here in Madison, Wisconsin. And, uh, I'm just kind of reflecting a little bit. I wanted to talk about something other than sports. And because I always talk about sports a lot, just kind of wanted to get serious and uh, discuss what happened in my, in my life in the past year. And now I'm trying to get back. I, I, everything's still kind of really up in the air. I got this job for Madison Mallards for a um, PA announcer. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm trying to get a, a remote job. Off working off a laptop to be able to chill and still do focus on my radio and podcasting and all that YouTube channel and all that stuff. Um, kind of see where everything goes. I'd like to be able to make enough money to get back home, move back to Dayton, Ohio, with my daughter. Uh, I miss her, and I hope everything's good with her. I just talked, like I said, I just talked to her a little bit ago, but you know she needs her dad in her life. She needs me there. I understand that. I tried to come out. I mean, I'm still not going to give up. That's for sure. But kind of probably stay in the Dayton area and then just focus on YouTube and podcasting and try to find a job in around Dayton, Dayton, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio. So if you guys are hiring for any like any entry level positions, on air positions, radio positions, social media networking, anything like that, I can do all that stuff. I've done a lot of internships for video to on air to play by play to all kinds of stuff, video editing, audio editing. Seems it's real easy now, I guess, but um, I haven't done the video editing part in a while. But I used to do audio editing a lot. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys like a little heads up what I've been going through in the past year, trying to get the focus off of sports, kind of get serious, a little monotone right now. And uh, and also just wanted a big thanks for Ed Cole. Uh, a lot of big thanks out for people on LinkedIn. People have been helping me out. People have been giving me a lot of advice. Um, still looking for uh, different podcasters on there as well. If you're on my LinkedIn page, um, you know, message me. We can get together to do some kind of um, podcasting weekly or whatever. Um, I'm kind of wide open. I'm starting to work the weekends now, so they switched me out. So I work Thursdays and the weekends as of right now for the next couple of weeks. And I just want to broadcast out, get my name out there. Meet as many people as I can. I know how. I know I have the personality. I do on it. I don't even edit anything. I just go crazy. I go balls at a wall, just all unedited, unfiltered, uncut. And I've been told that not to do that. But as of right now, I I'm just going to go ahead and do that until I get a laptop and all that stuff. Hopefully, this next weekend, and then I'll start doing video editing and audio editing and all that stuff. But um, I don't like doing everything like that off off the phone. So yeah, like I use, I have the personality to make it happen. I know that. Uh, maybe need to lose a little weight or something, but that's okay. And um, get more detail in the sports, and just try to network as much as I can, which I have been, and try to get as many people as I can on my podcasts and YouTube channels. And I'll get, and I'll be, um, I'm willing to be on everybody else's too. So that's what it's all about: networking, getting out there, and talking to different people. And uh, let's talk about some sports, guys. I mean, I really. 
I love the uh, broadcasting field and I just, I love talking, like I said. And that was just a little 12 month kind of in depth view of what I've been through, where I've been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of, you know, back in August, September, excuse me, I was so excited, so thrilled. I couldn't believe that I got a job within like um, a matter of like a couple months that I was doing these YouTube videos and podcasts and all this. And he's like, oh, I heard this. I heard that. You know, let's make it happen. Is it? I was like, man, I'm going, I'm going out there. So I, I drove all the way out there just for an interview. And then I come back, got the job. A couple weeks later, had a little bit of money saved up, drove out there and made it happen. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Unfortunately, it didn't work out as great as I thought it'd be. I wanted to like stay there for about a year or two, pot up my, you know, get my resume going, have a couple years experience because everybody out there is looking for at least three years experience. But this COVID thing that happened, it's kind of killing everybody's jobs. A lot of people off laying off on ESPN, getting furloughed and all that stuff. I understand that. So it's like, it's kind of almost like you got to like revamp yourself and do a re-image of yourself to, you know, you can almost be an entrepreneur in this kind of, atmosphere with sport with sports and talk radio and youtube and podcasting and all that stuff my podcast isn't as good as i want it to be but my youtube channel isn't getting that bad i have about 1500 1600 views or something total so far but um i need to get some subscribers love for you to subscribe um you know aj let's talk sports i know you're watching this right now please subscribe i don't have that many subscribers but you know you could just do an entrepreneurship out here you know what i mean because it's the, the world is our oyster and we can make it happen. If you really want it, you can get it. But um, kind of leave it on a, a positive note here. That's what you can do. I know my one buddy out in Stockton, Cali, me and him, we used to work together in the lighting. And what's up, man? And good luck to you with your music career as well. And um, usually, isn't it what, usually what ruins our lives, the men out here? It's like alcohol or women. You know what I mean? It's a usually pretty much... Uh, there was it all down. So what happened to your life? Well, I was with some female and this and that. She took all my money, blah, blah, blah. And that's what my life is. My life's pretty much a daggone country song. So play it backwards. You get everything back, right? <laughs> no. Was that a dad joke? Dad joke of the year right there. But anyways, yeah. Snowing outside. It's cold. Negative 25 degrees out here. Oh, my goodness. It's the coldest I've ever been around, I think. But anyway, so I love what I do. I'm going to continue to do it. Maybe if I make it, I got to make it a little bit more cleaner, a little bit of editing. I understand all that. But I love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for being there for me. Everybody on social media, thank you. Love you guys. Again, happy Valentine's Day. Spend it with your family. Love one another. That's what it's all about. The number one thing in our lives is love. Stop with the hate. Stop with all this racism BS. They, they try, the system tries to make you argue and get mad with each other when really we are supposed to be united together and don't let the media and entertainment and all that try to bring you guys down. Make sure you love one another, love your neighbor as yourself. And then there's always the golden rule. And I just, I just get really tired of all this stuff. Like I don't even like watching the news anymore. I don't even really like almost watching ESPN anymore. They turn into a whole political thing. I understand there's left side, there's right, and there's also this middle ground where everybody's majority of Americans are in. I don't want to make this into a political debate, but just want to let everybody know the majority of us are together, and we need to stay united, not not leftist, not rightist. I mean, be together for a people. It's we the people. We the people of the United States. It's not the government that's trying to control us, which they are trying to do, but it's we the people. I don't know how I got this turned into a political debate, Anyways, the last 12 months um, was a whirlwind, and I and uh, you know we can talk about this, discuss about this together, and because uh, we are together, it's we are the people. Don't forget that. You you guys seem to forget that. A lot of people seem to forget that. It's we the people. No matter Republican, no matter Democrat, no matter Libertarian, doesn't matter what you are. Transgender, I don't even care. Transgender, um, homosexual, uh, female, male tall, short, Puerto Rican, Asian, white, black, it doesn't matter. It's we the people. Don't forget that, guys. Love you.